tonight, we're probably going to do a, a couple little small segments about it anyway, but we're going to walk through as, as my father-in-law, uh, Terry, reassembles the car, talks about the anatomy of what we're dealing with. So those of you who maybe might want to watch this to learn what all the pieces are, I know that's what I'm going to be doing is learning what all these pieces are because I've not dealt with these very much and gets it all reassembled and after uh, a rebuild kit and a cleaning, uh, thorough, thorough cleaning that we went through on this old carb. Okay, so on this Ford carb, carburetor, it had this little metal tag hanging off of a screw on the very front of the housing of the carb. So whenever you're going to start working on one of these things, it is very important that you know that this is accurate and that you get the parts and the rebuild kit for this tag and it's on it. So if there's any question at all that the tag may not be right or is missing, you might have a really hard time getting a rebuild kit that's got the right pieces that are the right sizes for you. So Terry's Probably saying a two barrel carburetor, which means... light, maybe a 450 uh, CFM. Two barrel, and this equates to two Venturis, uh -huh. right? Right. Two V. We got two air jets, two fuel jets. Uh, we have a singular seat. Because uh, we've only got one float chamber. Right. So the seat goes with the float chambers. Our float floated, so it's good. Yep. We've got a an old needle. Needle valve. So we're gonna put a new needle valve in. This is just sundry linkage over here. Spring linkage is pieces that go dash pot. Dash pot. This that's is right. That that might. There, there. A... Yeah, I know it. It's it's good. Yeah, it, you can feel its resistance. So it, it's okay. ugly, but it's good. All right. Ugly can be solved. Sort of. I mean, look at me. Okay. Uh, Jay, grab a, shut that off. That's the fuel. Fuel seat there. Seat, right. Yeah. So that was this part, the old one. They sent us a new one. Had that screen, conical screen on the bottom. The screen just comes off of this and goes on to the new one. And that's on the fuel side. This is the fuel well side where the float sets as well. I know that much. So you're saying and setting the fuel jets in. Right, the, these right here, and they're numbered. They tell you. They've got a size on them. Right. They're usually sized according to uh, really, altitude. Really hard to see, but there's a number there on this, right there on the side of it. These are. Probably 53s or 63s. 51. Or 51. 51. They, they, they go on there this direction. 51 is what it says on this. You're just going to have to take my word for it because there ain't any way it's going to show on camera. Say there's a little rubber washer. Uh, it's the, the fabric. Fabric. It's not rubber. Okay. It's the fabric. It's like finale. Kind, of, kind of like that fel the Felpro gasket material, sort of. Well, feel it. It's more like the finale. Okay, yeah, a lot stiffer uh -huh. than you'd imagine. Looking at it, it's a lot stiffer. They're, so be careful to not crack them. They are designed to accommodate your. because your battery's dead. The ethanol gases, they won't break down in with the ethanol. Oh, with the fuel and ethanol in it. Right. Now this one feels like it's a little too small. You got to screw it in. Okay. You got to screw it down on it. Yeah, they're they're my old ones, buddy. That I 
You're wearing your boots for the cold? No, he's not wearing his boots. Well, I'm not real happy with the way that gas feels. Down in there. Okay, so that's our jets seated. Jets are seated. Snugged. Okay. Now the little seat. The little, little ball seat there, right? Is that what that was? That little yeah. that little ball that drops down in that? Mm-hmm. So right where he's dropping this guy right here, there's a little ball seat that drops down first. Then you've got an indexed tube. usually don't. This was my new one here, wasn't it? In your spring set? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Set on here. Yep. And that drops down in there. And that bar sits in that cradle there. And then this little spring goes down over that brass goes down over the far side of the brass screwdriver and you'll hear it click and now that that holds the, that holds float, the float down that, and, and the float levels looks like it's way too low it'll tell you we'll have to put a straight edge across here and then we'll measure down at this point on the according to the setting how far how how deep we want to go but how well, many millimeters deep it needs to go uh, is that that's millimeters or is that mil millimeters millimeters inches on the other uh, side inches yeah yeah okay i put this so we don't need these two i'm going to put the unneeded stuff in there. extra clips over there Okay. This little rod is a What's that mean? Bar barometric pressure. Barometric. Uh, a venturi. Need my gaskets. Okay, so we've got our venturis. We've got a new gasket that drops on between the bottom of them and the interior of that housing. Okay, so we're, we've dropped the Venturis back in the, with the gasket, you saw that, and it's the booster Venturi that goes and screws in. There was that ball that we talked about dropping that hole. There's a rod that drops in there as well. There's a metal washer that sits on the top of that, and then that screw goes down through that hole, threads and holds down the Venturi. See what that ball is called for, for reference. 39 is called. Uh, it's a outlet. Number 38 is a weight ball and pump outlet. 
Uh, number 39 bowl is the outlet check valve. Outlet check valve. Okay. Number 40 is the gasket. That's that metal washer that drops up on the top right underneath that, right. that flathead screw there. Between the two, uh, to stop the tops of those Venturi stacks. Actually, we start with this little valve right here. That little rubber. And that little rubber valve goes in the center. This is a one-way valve. Yep. Got a little nodule on the end of it so that it drops in and sticks and holds. I, I put, that, put that damn float, put the float in, in too early. <laughs> Here's a little bit more. Yep, heard okay, that little click. So we got a good, got a good seat on that. Because there were two, there were two holes in there like that, and the top one is where the bulb goes through, and the bottom one is where the fuel will come through from, from the fuel side into the accelerator pump area, which is a well behind there, that's that goes behind this this linkage. Uh, I don't know if it's that one or that one. It's one of the two of these two. Okay. Um, so that's that's what goes at the front there. This is your. That's the one with the okay. with the linkage and hooked to I it. I had my spring. Here's the spring. Spring goes on. The spring goes above the seat down. Yeah. Now we have that rubber. They that sent us two two of the accelerator same. pumps. Accelerator pump bellows. Diaphragms, or, bellows, whatever you want to call them. The one that the old one that we took off of there was just, just about so rigid that it was, felt like it was going to shatter when you I flexed like it. I like this one right here. That one's got a good flex to it. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to put my thumb on it. This one doesn't have a metal gasket, a metal washer on it. That may be the smallest cotter pin I've ever seen. That's uh, pinky for for reference. That's <laughs> yeah, carburetor parts are tediously small, tiny. Well, you're dealing with atomization, you know. It's... Just add all of them. Where'd they go? It's got this one's got the metal washer on it, just like the other four. The lock washer. Yep, okay. 
hear that jet. Oh, well, air. you're hearing the, the you're air. You're hearing the pump activated. Yep. The pump. Okay, now we're going to put the metering air jets back in. And if you want them nice and clean, clean, and you don't want them, ri you don't want a ridge on them. If they've got a ridge on them, they've been screwed in way too tight. Where would the ridge be on? Right out about a sixteenth of an inch from the tip. Okay. And then you'll never get a proper metering. These are just you just bought them out with no torque, and then. You back them out at a turn and a quarter to get it started. And then back it out further from there. And then you either, depending on, okay, that, I just touched bottom. Which is all the way closed, no yeah, air through. No, nothing that's gonna. Okay, I touched bottom on that. Now I'm gonna go one turn. There's one, and then I'm gonna go a half. Okay. There's a half. There's one and a half. They're both okay. at one and a half. And that's turns. your intro to start. And if you need to add more air, or take it away as you tune it right. once it's on the vehicle and you're started. You, you do that there. You'll do that tuning according to the altitude, your fuel, other factors that you may have on the truck or in our or motor. And then, oops, it's to be on the outside. Now. See that little ear I'm trying to get down in oh, there. Oh, I see it there. Yeah, it's on the it's kind of on the inside. It's the reason for all the gyrations there. There, click and then it goes right is over here onto and where, the, where your accelerator cable. Hooks this on. is your little. That's clip the keeper that clip. Holds it on, yeah. And it. Get it over the housing. I think I'll turn that around. Yes. down clipped look at that okay, we awesome good. that's working good function there yep good functionality spring. good spring on it okay now we need to put the dash pot okay. let's see this is called that's the old one do you want the new one to look uh, no it? this this was a new one that's the new this one? This came with the, that's an extra one we bought. This came with the kit. Okay, that one came with the kit. And let me see that for a second. All right. All right. So, I wish I'd have seen the old one. I didn't think I'd toss anything. Okay, so we're tightening up the economizer valve on the bottom of the the front end. It sets in right underneath the float and then the the, the uh, fuel jets up into the, the fuel well side. So it's underneath the front. Getting it snugged up and onto its own gasket. This needs to be sealed. Sealed pretty snug. See that little orifice right there? Yeah. That's that, a vacuum orifice. So what he's talking about. There's a little pinhole to the back of it right there. 
that the, the gasket's gonna not quite cover as well. And that's an orifice. That's a gasket. For a vacuum. And it sets on a... That plate. And then it creates a vacuum dome because the vacuum's pulled through that little hole right there. Through that little hole. And that's, that's how you're economizing. One, two, three, four. There's a little hole there, that bright spot right there in the center of that dark well, right up here. That's a little pinhole that creates a vacuum with the air coming down, coming down and the Venturi coming down into the, or the air coming up, right? Down. Coming right down. Upside. Oh, upside that's right, down. coming down through it creates a vacuum there and that'll as it gets a vacuum it'll pull that valve open to allow more fuel in right to uh, or allow more air it'll, no that in, it's an economy it'll shut your fuel it shuts down. it it shuts it the fuel should, down as you get more when vacuum you create a, when these throttle plates close you create a real high vacuum here so it's sucking that down to shut the gas off coming out of the the like when you're going down a hill and you let your foot off your throttle, it's this gonna, is it's slowing gonna help the gas going to the jets. I see. Okay. It's applying back pressure on the jets, almost to help them not pull as much fuel through, as the motor gets a high vacuum. It's not working as hard, right? Okay. High vacuum is usually where you want your motor that's where you set your timing that's where you set your balance of your carburetors of your jets your air jets is high vacuum gotcha everything should be tight but you can twist everything off real easy real easy this is all just aluminum right mm -hmm. rebuilt carburetors $485 Ooh. Kit was thirty six dollars. So you're welcome, YouTube. Send checks care of Terry <laughs> for your savings. Okay, now we need to get the float pipe. float tuned. And we're going to drop our this is our beam that we're going to use to measure the height of our float. Our, our float has to come up so it shuts the needle off, but you don't want it so high that it boils gas into here. It'll create a flood situation if you have... If the fuel gets too high in your float too well. High. If it gets too low, then you have no accelerating capabilities because you're... You don't have enough to ever build inside your, of your accelerator your pump. Will dump accelerator it. pump. It'll suck air and won't, won't have any okay. pressure, right? Now the key to this is. Uh, let me see. Let me get my measurement. Three ninety. Automatic transmission. Without TE. 1530 seconds. I right. always thought they had a van hole right there. That, um, that sets up in there. These right here. Here's if it if your needle and seat sticks open and it keeps pumping fuel into your into uh, your well in your well it'll come up these two tubes those two pipes uh -huh. there that sit at the front and of it you see and that's down inside your air cleaner so it's going to dump back down into your uh, and motor you'll, and you'll maybe get a carb fire even and that way you're not getting a fire on the outside of your motor you're going to flood your truck your vehicle you're going to flood it if it runs okay. and if you're this unlucky is, you're going to get a fire Okay, you need to set your feeler gauge on this. I'm going to call this a beam. And let that float up. I can't read those. Can you read 
yeah. those numbers. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to, uh, what you need to do is read right across the front of that. When I tell you I've seeded out. Okay. Okay, I've seeded. Get her all the way seeded? Yeah. You can't read it. Okay. Well, I got I got to hold it down because it's tipping okay. and it's it's not a true angle. Let me get a flashlight. Right, I need a flashlight too. When my needle seats, this tang will be relief from that metal spring. Oh, I see. Okay. See, I'm see how I'm loose. I see. From okay. It? Yep. So, see, my seat that is means your is valve. Shut. Your valve seated there. My my valve should be closed at that point. Okay. Okay. So, you take. So her. you hold it there, and I'll get yeah. her set. And, and I think I... I can shoot that light across there. Okay. So that we can both see it. Uh, there, I'm loose. What's the reading on the? Her 20, 20, 30 seconds. Let's see here. Uh, no, you need to bend the tang up. That that way, it'll it'll have to go down further to to catch to, to catch. relief. It'll have to go down further to raise the nose of the float, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, so we've got to get on here. So the nose of the float needs to be higher, right. and to do that, you're going to change the geometry of this tang at right. the back end that catches that spring, right. and bend it up so, so that it flexes. Okay, see up. what I'm doing here? Yep. I'm going to bend that up just a little bit. Okay. Now let's see where we're at again. Okay. I'm off. You're at 16.30 seconds. Okay, let's... Now Try it one more time. Yeah, read it for me. I'm, I'm off. Uh, you're more like 17.30 seconds. Okay, just a little bit more. Then. Yeah. It don't take much at all, just... Gotta be... You get crazy on this, then you... You're really in trouble. Then, well, then you gotta just start... Straightening everything out. Can we hold down here? And you don't want to, what I'm trying to avoid is putting any pressure on that, on that rubber point. On that rubber point or on you that. You see that right there? If, if you press way down on that rubber point, you've ruined it. So the rubber point, it's, it's on the tip of that mesh. Right. Okie doke. Now let's All see right. if we're let's at 16. Do let's do her again. Okay, and see I'm following, when that spring there, see how it's hanging the needle on it? Yep. The weight of the needles hanging that on there. Now I'm going to go. When I relax, you read. I'll tell you when I'm relaxed. Okay. Go. Okay, I'm off. You're 16 to 15. Okay. 30 seconds. Just We're in good perfect. shape. Just okay. perfect. Obviously not the one I want. Can't. So the rebuild kit came with two different gaskets. Yes. That one's obviously got cutouts for parts that we don't have. But that one's got the perfect. Okay. Uh, you're backwards. Um, right here. Don't get stuff in your mouth, buddy. Okay? I just gave him that simple green cleaner to spray down the dirt on the red truck, on the little red car. That's pretty safe stuff. Okay, now we need two more screws here. Uh, oh. And then our... tuned it per the instructions we cut off our indexing bar here and what we were able to find is that with the bar laid across here at the spot yep it does make the float move up and down it's a little hard to see in this 
in the camera, but it's making the float move up and down. But meaning that that's the height that it says that we're to be tuned at, which at that height, it just then is getting tight on that spring on the back. And, but it's not tight enough to lift up and let any fuel in because if it did, because there's no fuel line on this side, we would have fuel come out over there. In fact, if we push down further, it's going to let fuel in, it'll right? Let, it'll let a it'll little dribble. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because so. there's just a little bit in there. There's just a little in there. Okay, so. so. Okay, so let me see this again. Put your so we're put your right, right on the on that spring area there. Bring like this and light the whole thing up from here. Hold this. Adjust it just a little bit. light so I can watch when that I need to see this see when I got lift and when it lifts I can't see put it on the gauge Don't put any more in there, okay? Okay, we're right on the deal. Now, hold the light here for me on that spring back there. Mm -hmm. Dead on. Yeah, we're dead on. Awesome. That that's uh, that choke is set way yeah. too tight. Yeah, you'll have. So we we'll, we would adjust this right. down a little bit but so that it doesn't seat all the way down. You'll adjust it up. A little adjust bit. it up. Okay. But that that all depends on how how hard how you much pull the cable you and how yeah. much cable okay, is so, set. Okay. But so we we've got to make sure that our our spring is working. Everything's working here. So that's the choke linkage here. You uh, say right, the cable right. comes here and ties down onto there, right. pushes it op pushes it open when you don't need it, pull it closed. Okay. And you were saying this is Your this fast is our fast idle, idle adjuster, okay. and so as as for cold weather starts and cold weather operation with your with your choke closed, that's where it engages this cam surface on that choke lever, engages with that screw right there to to adjust your idle how much it's closed or open to how much air is coming in so if you're having trouble with cold starts and cold operation with the choke you adjust here and not on the other side where you do your normal throttle ad adjusting so this that's our your, dash pot this is your dash pot when you're when you're okay your throttle's going to slam shut and come back back on that and that's going to allow that to uh, not die. Allow it to inject right. some more. This, when you, uh, that might be. That might be shot. Because that was, I'm going to see why we're. Hmm. 
Okay. We may have to buy a new dash bump. Right. And I'm going to put it back in. You can see where it was at. Yeah, where it threads. Where it was threaded to, and then we're going to put the lock nut on it. So it's threaded through that housing, and then a lock nut holds it in position. Just put them away. Darn it. Summation to the evening. Here we go. Car back on, back together. Air cleaner go on top of that gasket. And everything's back together. We got our fuel line run and the vacuum line for the vacuum advance on the timer. So, good work. Good luck on your projects. I still got a lot to do on mine.